Good evening, everypony, and welcome to another recorded gameplay video here with Commentarios Magic. I am, as always, Grand Paws. Big cheese. And in honor of a new format, we're going to play a new format. We're going to play some adventure. Yay. So I'm going to be running Seleno. I am running... There's a spell for that. Okay. I wonder what possible starting problems we could come up with. Oh, oh, look, it, it's so surprising. Bam. Okay. Well. I think given that. Okay, let's try that. Sideboarding is done. Yeah, I'm figuring out mine. I'll be done in a sec. Yep. So hard. So hard? Yeah. Can't see. Ooh. I can't beat That's that. A good roll. It sure is. Uh, that's fine. I'm still gonna keep this. Okay. I'm gonna keep. Okay. Ready? Yep, ready. I'm gonna name purple. I'm gonna name orange. That's the color. Oh yeah, I should do that. There. I will reveal my hand. Let's see what you got. Got it. Okay. And flip mummy. Yep. I'm already removing one of those cards from the list. Oh, paper fly? Yeah. Um, we will play a paper toy. Okay. Last paper toy. Yep. Pay one. Mm hmm. For Toolmaker. Sure. Pass turn. Okay. All right. I'm going to flip my main. Okay. I will do meticulous first. Mm -hmm. Top uh, reveal. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, draw a card for turn. Okay. Hold your phase. You know, Bob. Yep. Main phase. Um, exhaust. Yep. Pay one for hoops. Yep. Pay two for spike. Yep. Um, 
and pay one for a troublemaker. Sure. Now the question is, do I hooves here? Because I can put cards on the bottom of my deck. It's meticulous, and then not know what's next. I don't think it gets me any. Like it gets me one thing for one turn. Right. Um. So I think it's better to use it for its other mode. Um. So I will move to score phase. Okay. And I can run for one. Sure. Sounds good. <coughs> All right. Let's go to main phase. Play, read the manual. Mm -hmm. Play T-Rex Reign of Terror. Mm -hmm. Move the main. Play Luster Dawn. Okay. Score phase. Mm -hmm. Go for one fret and paper twice. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and exhaust the main as well. I won't get another confront out of it because I'll be one power shy, yeah. but that's okay. That's fine. Okay. I will... <sighs> I'll reveal the top. Okay. I will draw... I will pull the patrol maker. Yep. Um, let's see. I will move the main phase. Okay. See what I want to do here. What's time loop? Okay. Oh wait, I can draw. No, there's no way to quickly draw from bottom. Look at bottom one card. Put that into hand. Put a hand card from my hand on top of my deck. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking. Um, I will pay two to unfrighten Twilight. Sure. Makes sense. Exhaust Twilight. Mm hmm. Uh, score phase? Yes. I uh, will confront for one. Sounds good. Pass turn. Okay. Okay. Let's play Daring Do. Mm hmm. Spend one, play a Troublemaker. Sure. Score phase. I will bail out discarding spike. Sure. Jeez. Your main. Uh, exhausting my main. Sure. That's fine. 
Okay. You're good. Okay. I will meticulous to the bottom. Interesting. Okay, let's go to Trollmaker phase and mm -hmm. go to main phase. Mm -hmm. We'll exhaust Twilight. Sure. Uh, I'm going to pay one to draw a card. Sure. Interesting. I'll pay one more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's pay one to play Trollmaker. Okay. And then we will go to Scoreface. Sure. Confront for one. Yep. Pass turn. How much, how much can I get blown out here, is the question. The answer might be a lot. Well, we'll uncover Tempest Shadow and flip my main back over. Uh -huh. I mean, I guess I'll make you have it. Go to score face. Uh -huh. I will attempt to confront. Sure. Uh, Frighten paper twy, gain two action tokens. Sure. Pass. Okay. Oh, I need to gain a point. Yeah, yeah, you do that. <laughs> um, okay, I will process Princess Twilight for a factory jack. Okay. Um, draw the factory jack, thank you. Mm -hmm. Troublemaker phase, we will flip up a villain. That's what I was worried about. I think it was still worth it for you. Like, that was 280 and Frightened Twilight. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Um, let's see. I probably shouldn't play Factory Jack to Trixie. That would be a good idea. Probably. Um, at the start of my turn. Okay. Yeah, at some point, Counter Trigger is going to go boom. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, probably. Um, at least 20 cards. OK. Um, yeah, let's go to main phase. OK. Pay two to mm -hmm. flip Twilight. Mm -hmm. Lost Twilight. Mm -hmm. Pay one. Factory Jack. Mm -hmm. Exhaust factory deck. Mm -hmm. Huh. Uh, that should put you at three. Oh no, you're paying one less for a factory deck. That's yes, right. from a discount from a Twilight. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so you're two points ahead, effectively. Um, I just gotta keep track of that. 
that. What's her name? Um, I think I'm fine with this. So we'll go to. Uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. We'll go to Scoreface. Okay. Confront for one. Sure. Pass turn. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to challenge. Mm -hmm. Flip, flip, flip. Ooh. Interesting. Be seven power? Mm -hmm. Seven on eight. Um, okay. Let's process the twilight. Come on, tab, tab enough, thank you. Um, yeah, let's use meticulous. Uh, that can stay on top. Um, I will not use Twilight. Now trigger Starlight? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so we will get rid of that and that. Okay. Those two are fine. Okay, then we will uh, troublemaker phase is fine. We actually get there. Okay, we drew a card. Now we go to troublemaker phase. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll do. No, we're not going to challenge, so we'll go to main phase. Okay. We'll. Gain an AT. Okay. Gain an AT. Sure. I'll pay one to draw a card. Interesting. Let's um, time loop. To look at bottom one card, draw that card, put this card on top. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, let's go to score face. Sure. I will confront for one. Sounds good. And pass. Okay. Let's challenge. Okay. So um, I will exhaust Spike so that he becomes involved. Sure. Sounds fine. Uh, so you are at eight versus my uh -huh. seven. Yeah. Ready to flip? Yeah. Let's do it. I'll send home Luster. Okay, Luster goes home. So I'm now at 5, 10 versus your 10, 12? 12. 12, yeah. Okay, thinking. I'll play Rutherford and Frighten Spike. Interesting. Okay. Um, so now I am at 10 and you are at 12. Correct. I will pay one to play barrel through. Okay. To flip. <laughs> wow, a one. I'll pay another one to play another barrel through to flip a three. So That's I'm fine. 14. 
Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm gonna concede. GG. Good game. You got me locked behind a wall of TMs. I'm never gonna be able to break through with your action economy. And if yeah. I ever do get a board that's big enough, you'll just play a school shutdown. So I don't. Yeah, because I, I I got back the school shutdown from um right. time loop. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think there's much of a reason to uh, to keep going here. This is gonna be bad and that's okay sometimes you get a match up that goes that way yeah all right well i think it was... a quick game but yeah it was, it was a quick one but i, I... think this this deck is interesting um it relies so heavily on spike but well but it, it, like, it doesn't other really tools. that's the thing it doesn't really between your bailouts your barrel throughs your heat waves then you have your spike then you have uh, just a high time flip loop, average yeah. in general. Yeah, time loop to be able to set stuff on top. You had the one remaining Frozen in Magicite in your deck, despite the fact that the other one got banished. Yeah. So, like, everything was just lined up perfectly there, and uh, having one of the other villains after Trixie came out as well um, was exactly what you needed. So Yeah. Advent it's nice that Adventure has a lot more villains. It does, yeah. Even though, I mean, you did use two new villains here. That's true. Or new. Old. To, you know, old. Yeah. Yeah. Adventure um, only villains. I sideboarded out one Starlight. I only sideboarded three cards. And these things. Because I wasn't sure how much removal you'd have. Uh, I just assumed you wouldn't have hard removal. I have nap cakes and that's it. Yeah, so I was like, whatever, on the Golden Parachutes. That probably would have been my better option, is to sit there and try and hope for a nap cakes to put a paper twy on top. But yeah. Even, but even then, I'm still fighting through bailouts and heat waves and barrel throughs, and I just did not feel like that was something I was going to be able to overcome there. And nap cakes was nowhere to be seen for quite some time. Yeah, your turn two play was... Uh... It's kind of strong. <laughs> Had you not blocked off your uh, problem on turn one, I would have had eight points by turn three. Would you have been able to DFO? I would not have needed to DFO. That would have been eight points just confronting. Because oh, okay. Oh, because you had the um, cadence or the uh, tempest. Uh, right, because I had two tempests in my opening hand. So uh, turn two, do the flip, play, read the manual, go over here and confront twice right that brings yeah. me up to four points also have one et remaining to play the tempest then play the tempest assuming that you haven't dfo'd away this problem which you were likely going to anyway then flip tempest which uh turns captain solano back over pay two to flip solano go to six and then finally that card run for eight getting like the all oh, actually those were a very nice next two draws those were very nice next two draws. I mean, Paper Twy, Dr. Hooves, and Factory Jack is just so much value. So, Yeah, this deck has a lot of AT generators. So. Yep. I have discounts. I don't have as many generators as you. Although, I was looking forward to the uh, the double Daring Doom. Maybe I should have just gone for another Dilemma, but there's only the Trot in the deck. There's no uh, Stuck Together. Yeah. So, tricky to tell. Oh, well. Good, uh, good first game, so we hope people enjoyed it and at least have some ideas of what Control is capable of doing and some of the challenges or hurdles uh, Aggro may face. So, until next time, this has been Commentary is Magic. I've been Grand Paws. Big Cheese. And we'll see you next time. Bye.